so cool. I don't even need a winch now, like the, the trailer under power is a winch. In the steering in the back. Good. Just moving it on the dial of my Radio Link RC8X, uh, which is an eight channel um, transmitter. This thing has over 200 languages. You can use FPV. If you had a, a camera on the front, you could broadcast uh, your camera right here on the screen. It is ambidextrous. You can switch the wheel from side to side. You can do four-wheel steer mixing. You can do uh, dual ESC mixing. That is one of the reasons why I was interested in looking at this radio. This thing has six Fusion motors. They're Hobbywing uh, Fusion Pros. Steering on the front as normal and then steering in the back here. So being all powered independently because these are motor on axles. So basically the transmission is mounted right to the axle. The motor is also mounted directly to the transmission. And each one of these has power and they're locked differentials. Hence why I had to have them turning in the back. This is one of the most challenging builds I've ever done. Now let me see here, I'll flip it over for you guys. So I built an off-road trailer basically and I have to get a harness for my wires still. But I built an off-road trailer for practicality. Nope. Just to see if it could be done. Raised up, independent power, each axle has a battery, each servo is powered on its own. not easy to get everything lined up properly working together. Even in the back with the back axles. You would think with all motors being the same, that everything would turn at the same speed, even if you calibrate everything. That is actually not the case. So what I had to do was basically a mixture of pinions. All four of the motors here have a 20 tooth pinion. The back one here, has a 17 tooth and the rear one an 18. <laughs> hey Optimus. Wow. Toot toot. Cool huh? We always needed a trailer. It's been a while. Yeah. Now that it's not on the asphalt I don't think we'll have such a an issue I yeah. think. The actually, right, it, it looks awesome. It looks like it's actually running the way that it should for it. I'm, I'm not a mechanic, so that's my expert opinion. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when they ask for one, you got to give it to them. So officially a 10 by 10 by 10.
I even lifted up the center axle, this second one here, so it would be just a little bit above the ground until it's weighted down. Because I had to build the suspension so it could actually take a load on the back and not sag. Oh, we're at the river, huh? Looks like I might be able to get in over there. Oh yeah, I've got a bridge up, good. You're literally riding on the back of Optimus. <laughs> yeah, it's operating so much better now that it's in the dirt. Being a true off-road truck. It's operating much better when it's not on the asphalt with all that uh, grip. So that's something interesting to know. So here's a nice tight turn. Hi guys. Dude, for Optimus to fall in there, hilarious. So if I turn my tires on the dial, all right, get it going that way. Yes, I could do some four wheel steer mixing, uh, but I think this new radio needs a little bit more hardware, um, or pardon me, a software uh, tweaking because it doesn't seem to be working for me right now, but I bet you in a firmware update, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, who knows, it's a new radio. Dude, so cool. Yes, Optimus. Oh, the back, the back trailer came off. The back trailer has wider axles. Look at this back there. Boom! But because it can actually drive itself out, I think we're okay. Maybe we could even straighten it out. Balance you on my leg here. I'm gonna bounce and back up, turn my wheels. And then driving my trailer on there more careful. Oh my God, that was so cool. Oh, that's okay. I bet you I can drive right back up on it. I can, too cool, dudes. <laughs> because I'm not pulling and I'm driving, or it's a mixture of both, I was able to drive back up. So freaking cool. What is that, Optimus driving through a gate? No way. Dude, this might be, oh, once again. Too much paying attention to the camera, not enough to the RC. That's all right. Just gonna drive back up there if I can. Oh, I can. Oh, zippity doo da, zippity day. What the hell? What a crazy day. Yeah, buddies. <laughs> all right, straight into the water. So we'll just turn it around, hey. Because it is waterproof, my friends, is there anything that I build that is not fit to go in the water? Look at this, having to turn all the tires. Very good, man, I am loving this so much right now. Just letting that trailer crawl along, crawling around. one of the coolest freaking things I've ever built, guys. And it's enormous. This thing is like at least, I'm gonna have to measure it. It's at least four feet long. Oh, I'm tempted. It's right over the flag. Who cares? Oh, one of my air filters. I don't want water leaking in. Figuratively speaking, it doesn't matter. Shall we back out on the ramp? Like, why not, if we've got the power? If I'm skilled, I should be able to do this. Right, question mark? Just watching those back tires, lining them up. Ooh, penalty. <laughs> 
Oh, not too far off. That sand makes everything very slippery. Okay, in between my wet legs, you're welcome. Hovering over the creek. Hopefully you don't fall in. Oh. It's okay. The beeping you hear is just my trim, me moving those back tires. Just having to be careful, watching all of the tires. All right. Whew. So far, not bad. Could be worse. Could be in the drink. Could this dri guy drive backwards any slower? Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Dude, it's plausible. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, Optimus, good job, buddy. It has been done. The powered trailer. Nice job, Optimus. Oh, I know, buddy, I know. Dude, you've been transforming for years. I just witnessed. That was remarkable.